hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be in a new house no this is not a house that i'm moving into this is a rental home that um we are actually getting ready to have people come view it to either rent or buy it and we are so excited if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button there's always tons of cleaning motivation here tons of organizing and decluttering there's always so much going on in our crazy lives that right there that is my husband his name is jeremy he's also going to be doing some stuff in the apartment while i'm here he's going to be you know doing the last little fixes and we're starting off in the master bedroom these fans were so disgusting and the windowsills oof were so gross too um there were the previous owners lived here and it was actually a foreclosed home so technically we bought it from the bank and they had some big messes here we actually replaced all of the carpet throughout the whole home and we had everything painted so now it's just time to get it ready to be viewed and lots of cleaning in here so i'm going to be doing these window sills i already finished the fan and i'm using jaws disinfectant cleaner all of the Jaws products are non-toxic except for their disinfectant, but that was totally okay in this case because it needed it. These windows were really, really gross, really dirty. They look like they haven't been cleaned in a couple of years. There was just caked on mud, and of course, I forgot my Bissell steam shot, which would have been perfect. Look at that. Ugh, gross. That is just from two windows. And... My Bissell Steam Shot would have made this so much easier, but of course I forgot it. You know, my luck. I didn't realize how bad the windows were actually going to be. And there were some, like, stickers still stuck on because these windows were also brand new. So I had to sit there and scrape that off. And I'm not using the Jaws glass cleaner today. I needed something a little bit more heavy duty, so I'm using the Sprayway cleaner. And I really do love this a lot. It does a great job for heavy duty cleaning. And there's the after. It's not perfect. I couldn't get into every little crevice, but... The end result was so satisfying compared to what it was. Now I'm just going to be vacuuming those rugs. Ugh, I love brand new carpet because look how nice the vacuum lines are. Like, that you can't beat that. I'm cleaning the upstairs bathroom and this bathtub was really really gross I don't know why or how but when we bought this it didn't have all of these stains in it I'm guessing that the painters use this and they they really got it dirty there's construction dust from sanding there's there's paint in the tub I'm guessing they they clean their buckets out in the tub, which they really shouldn't have. And I'm probably going to contact them about that because it was just really hard to get off. And they were quite messy with the paint like they, throughout the whole home. It took me twice as long because I'm scrubbing paint off of the countertops, off of the floors, the tubs, the tiles, you name it. They got paint on it. So... Yes, the paint came out really, really nice, but it was a very sloppy job. I was unsatisfied with that, and so was my husband, especially for the price that they charged. I was not thrilled with that. So with the tub, I was just using the pink stuff, which is a miracle paste. <laughs> they call it a miracle paste because it really is a miracle paste. It got majority of everything off of the tub except for that big stain right there by the drain I don't know I'm gonna have to come back another day and hit it with barkeeper's friend and if barkeeper's friend doesn't take it off nothing will that is such a powerful cleaner and even this toilet you seen I had to vacuum it there was construction dust from them sanding on everything and they really should have covered all of this stuff up so 
Ugh, so annoying. <laughs> so now I'm just using my Clorox toilet one to clean the toilets. If you still use a traditional toilet bowl cleaner, like the brush and the, the, um, what is it called? I can't remember. The, the liquid that you rub against the tub, I forget what it's called, toilet bowl cleaner, I guess you would call it. Then I really suggest that you switch because of sanitary reasons and the convenience of these toilet bowl wands. You just pop it on, you scrub the toilet, and you throw the pot away. It's that simple. And now moving on to the sink again, it's, I'm using the pink stuff on majority of everything here. Sinks, tubs, appliances, because there's paint. Like, stuck on paint on everything. It was a pain in the butt to get off. And then I'm just hitting it with some disinfectant. I'm going to be wiping down those cabinets because there's fingerprints on everything. Dirt fingerprints. So, and they're white cabinets, so everything was showing. The camera doesn't really pick up how dirty the cabinets are. But I can tell you in person, it was, it was stressful to look at. So I just vacuumed really quick with my Dyson B11 outside vacuum. This thing is so powerful, that's why I decided to bring this vacuum. And then I'm going to be steam mopping. I decided to bring my steam mop because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I'm glad that I did because this steam mop got all of those little paint splatters off of the floors. Uh, it really just kind of lifted everything up. And then anything that I wasn't able to get up with the steam mop, I just went back through and I scrubbed it a little bit and it came right off, thank God, because I would have been really upset. And also, thankfully, this carpet was installed after we got the, the walls painted. So this is a two bedroom house, so I moved on. I finished the, the bathroom and the master, and now I'm moving on to the second bedroom. I had to clean the windows, and now I'm just gonna be doing a quick little vacuum here in this bedroom. This one is not as big as the other one, which obviously it's not supposed to be. It's the second bedroom, not the master. And I, you seen I knocked the little heater thing off the wall there. I had to have my husband come fix it for me because I tried, but I couldn't get it back on, so we'll leave that to the man to, to do that for me. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you said, anywhere you said.
this kitchen was so bad so we're going to be starting off with we're going to work from top to bottom we're going to be using the jaws multi-purpose cleaner to wipe down those cabinets i'm not going crazy i'm not cleaning the inside of the cabinets if i have time another day i will come back and i will clean the inside of the appliances and inside the cabinets but for today we're just going to be doing the surface um jobs so we're going to be starting from top and going all the way to the bottom Okay, so I thought the tub upstairs was really bad covered with paint, but I was highly mistaken. This kitchen sink was way worse. I think I scrubbed it maybe three or four times. I can't remember exactly. At least three times with the pink stuff. And it was, it was rough. There was just paint everywhere, even on the countertops. So I took the pink stuff and scrubbed down the countertops as well. And I go back in and spray everything down with a disinfectant uh, just to make sure that there's no more germs lingering around and another thing I love about the pink stuff is it's also non-toxic if you've been here on my channel before you know I am a non-toxic for sure lover I always opt for a non-toxic option if if it does a good job I will always choose that over you know a toxic product that would do the same job as you know something that's safer for kids and for pets and even for us <laughs>
again, the camera didn't even pick up how bad the stove top was splattered with paint. I don't know. You could see a little bit, but really, it was something else. I know that you're probably like, oh my god, Karina, we get it. Stop talking about it. But I was just, even here, I'm telling my husband that just came back with like lunch for me i'm like this is ridiculous like you should call them they they should have covered everything there shouldn't be paint on anything and there's paint everywhere and i'm working twice as hard to get it all off but hey whatever we're dealing with it and we probably won't be using that company for any more of our rental properties needless to say So if you're new here and you've made it this far in my video, I would just like to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Karina. I am a stay-at-home mom to a little boy who is 17 months old. He'll actually be 18 months at the end of this month. It's so exciting. His name is Remington. I'm also a wife to Jeremy. We've been together for a little over three and a half years, I would like to say. But yeah, so if you are new here, go ahead and introduce yourself down in the comments below. I would love to get to know you guys. This is, I'm trying to build a very loving and safe community here where it's like a judgment-free zone. You can share, I can share all of my messes so you don't feel terrible about yours because... Even though this is not my house, I do clean my own house most of the time and it is a freaking disaster every single day between the dog, the baby, and the husband. I feel like the cleaning never ever ends so you are not alone if you feel the same way. <laughs> side of this fridge was like my favorite part of this whole apartment I don't know I don't know what what's about it but something about it was super satisfying to scrub this down with the pink stuff and wipe it away I I think it was because it was stainless steel and it came out so shiny like there were so many like fingerprints 
fingerprints, ugh, I got tongue-tied, fingerprints and water stains on this that when I was done, it was just, it looked like a brand new fridge from the outside. Ugh, I love it. Love to hear what your favorite part of the house, uh, like when you clean, what's your favorite part of the house to clean? I would really love to, to know. In my own home, my favorite part of the house to clean is probably my kitchen sink. Like, so there's just something about it that when I scrub it and I dry it and it's just all sparkly and clean, it just gives me something. It warms my heart in a weird way. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of your house is to clean. kitchen floors again with my shark s1000 steam mop i have this linked from amazon and also from bj's if you are a bj's member i highly suggest if you're in the market for a steam mop that you buy this one from bj's it's 10 times cheaper than it is off of amazon so i'm sorry if you're not a bj's member that you can't get that membership price but if you are i highly suggest you buy it from bj's but we're also going to be nearing the end of this video i am so excited for next week's video we have so much more spring cleaning to come and i'm probably going to be taking down my easter decorations which i didn't get to this week because i had to clean this last minute so i hope you guys have a good rest of your week i'll see you in the next one bye